Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. So please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you and that is okay. Pick up what does resonate with you and drop what doesn't for someone else to pick up and appreciate. Okay? Okay, please watch tarot responsibly. Not everything is going to resonate with you. Okay, not everything belongs to you, Joe. Speaking of which, I feel like there's someone here that feels like what is yours belongs to them. Okay, and that's a no. That's a no. Okay, okay. This could be somebody in your family that feels this way. Someone in your family may feel like your person is should be with them or something. I don't know. Some by sibling <laughs> rivalry or your sibling is in love with your person. I don't know. Maybe you're going to find this out. Who knows? Um, but let's get into the, uh, let's get into what I channeled. Okay. I channeled a bunch of songs last night. For those who I did personal readings with today, you, I kind of already told y'all, but, um, but I'm going to save those channel songs for another day, but, or for another reading. But, um, when I was getting ready for this, this reading, I got another channel song and I feel, well, two, and I feel like, I feel like it's, it's for what this is right now, okay? Um, first I was hearing, I hate this part right here, I hate this part right here, uh, I believe that's by the Pussycat Dolls. Um, I feel like this is like a narcissist saying this, okay? I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you could have discarded a narcissist and now they're in their feelings, okay? Um, maybe this is, this is like the thing that they hate. They hate when they get, um, discarded. They usually feel like they're the ones that get, uh, get to do the discarding, all right? Someone here you were dealing with could have had abandonment issues. They could be crying a lot, okay, or throwing some sort of tantrum. Also, whoever I'm speaking to, you um, you could have hazel eyes or someone here has hazel eyes, all right? Um, I also was picking up something about, like, like someone going, like, like someone wants to come in and tell you a secret or someone here wants to tell your secret if you have secrets or whatever someone wants to whisper something to you or there's something here about like keeping something low-key i don't know all right the second song that i was um picking up was from rihanna and the part that I was hearing was, you look so dumb right now. <laughs> you better hurry up. <laughs> I think that's how it goes. Hold on. Um, Take a Bow by Rihanna. Someone knows they got to bow out, okay? I also feel like someone here could be throwing a tantrum, like making a scene because something here is ending, okay? We have, oh, how about a round of applause? standing ovation she said you look so dumb right now standing outside my house excuse me trying to apologize you're so ugly when you cry please just cut it out <laughs> and don't tell me you're sorry because you're not baby i know you're only sorry you got caught so whoever i'm speaking to okay you Someone discarded a narcissist. They feel fucking dumb. They want to come in and apologize to you. Someone thought they had you in the palm of your um, hand. Someone felt like they had you under control or that they they thought that you, they had you hooked on them. But that, that was a no. That's a no. I don't know. Someone could be throwing someone out of their house. There could be a real um, dramatic breakup happening. <laughs> I don't know. Someone need to grab their clothes. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the hell going on. But uh, let's see. This flipped out. Ariel. 
Okay, we got Archangel Ariel here. Keeper of Mother Earth. I could be speaking to an Earth sign. You could be an Earth sign, or this is something that's happening to an Earth sign. Flip over and he's Godo. We have love nature, heart center, being outdoors, abundance of natural things, care for earth. Okay, there's something here about um, some of you need to work with rose quartz right now. Um, something here about uh, focusing on the self, focusing on self love, self care, um, nurturing yourself or nurturing oneself. Something here about going outside, um, connecting with nature, getting grounded would be very beneficial for you, especially if you guys are going through some sort of form of change or transformation, okay? It says, I help manifest the fulfillment of physical wants and needs and amplify your care of animals and the environment. Okay, so whoever I'm speaking to, like, you might need to work with Archangel Ariel if you're trying to manifest something here. Um... Something like that, child. By the way, I'm giving away these cards. So I have another brand new deck right here of these Oracle cards, okay? Um, I'm giving these away. You guys could write in the comments, I am divinely protected, okay? And I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick a lucky runner, okay, in the next couple days. Look at how pretty these are, though. Look at the gold foiling. It's freaking gorgeous anyways okay let me continue like it, these cards give so much information on them um something here might be happening in two weeks whoever i'm speaking to like something here that you've been trying to materialize into the physical world could be happening in two weeks okay there someone here could be taking some sort of inspired action at this time or you could be getting led to take some sort of action Okay, you guys could be seeing a lot of bunnies at this time. Um, pictures of bunnies, real bunnies in real life. Um, lions or something. This is this is all confirmation for you, okay? I could be speaking to someone who has Aries in their chart. Don't have to be, though, okay? Yeah, we have Amberil here. That's what it says. It says Amberil. Okay. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be a psychic or you could be studying how to be a psychic or uh, studying something in the occult, okay? Maybe you could be studying or trying to figure out how you can um, protect yourself. Maybe you guys are dabbling into some sort of white magic here, all right? Whoever I'm speaking to, you might be getting some sort of aha moment here soon. Someone here could be 34 years old, all right? You are going to be getting much needed um, communication or someone here is going to um, give you some sort of clarity when it comes to something. So someone here might be telling you like go and go until you, Jesus, I can't even talk. Someone here could be coming towards you going like, Psst, don't say anything, but, and they're telling you something you're supposed to know or something you should have known, or someone feels like you should know this information. Um, someone here could be born in May. Some of you need to work with Celadite solidite i don't even know if i'm saying that right basically you need to stay positive who i'm speaking to okay it says i clear mental fog and doubt and bring psychic insight to your awareness for spiritual and scholaristic benefit i don't know and you if you want to you could work with this archangel and then we have archangel uriel at the bottom of the deck it says keeper of wisdom and inspiration it says i give wisdom to solve complicated problems and help you find solutions for challenging predicaments some of you might end up being in a challenging predicament here soon maybe in the next two weeks maybe on a tuesday i don't know we got tuesday out here yeah there's some sort of um prophetic vision that you might be receiving or prophetic vision um, or something that you prophesize could be materializing in the next couple of weeks. I don't know, child. Something like that could be happening, okay? Something about eagles. You guys have seen a lot of eagles in the sky. Or pictures of eagles. Also, I feel like some of you could be seeing a lot of American flags, okay? There's something here about freedom. You guys are going to be free. You guys are being set free here. Alright? And you have... Um, you got archangels that are 
helping you be free helping they're helping you become liberated in some form or fashion okay and they're protecting you all right um someone's name could be tammy tam tamila tamika tamila okay or someone's first mother or last name starts with a t um someone's name here could be kenya or kenya or someone's name starts with a k someone's name could be ken kenny Okay, and then I got the name Gil. Someone's name could be Gilly, Gil. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I also, with the Gil name, I was also getting something about, like, someone being underwater or someone feeling, like, emotionally overwhelmed when it comes to something here. Okay, maybe someone feels like they can't breathe. Maybe someone here could be stressed out because of some sort of transformation that they're going through. Okay, or there's someone here that was playing with water magic or there's someone here that wants to manipulate your emotions. So they can have some sort of level of control over you again, okay? You guys could have left an emotional uh, manipulator, all right? I also was getting um, the words open roads. So if someone here was trying to close your roads or block your roads, just know that your roads are open and they're clear or they're going to be whatever, whichever's which, ciao. Basically, I don't feel like you have anything to worry about, <laughs> okay? You guys could be seeing the angel number 333-666. Um, something here about the year 1983 could be of significance and the number, uh, 55 keeps popping up all day. So we're going to look this up together. Let's see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. By the way, I am filming this pretty late right now. I'm kind of tired. Um, but, but I'm here. Let's see. It says, okay, wait, hold on. Yeah. So angel number 55 represents change growth and a spiritual awakening so someone here could be going through some sort of a spiritual awakening at this time maybe this spiritual awakening for them feels very emotionally overwhelming all right um it's also a signal that changes are on the horizon in your life it says embrace new experiences even if they seem daunting at first yeah there's something here it's going to require you to take some sort of action, even if you feel like you don't want to. I don't know. Something like that could be going on. Or there's something here about pushing yourself out of your comfort zone is necessary. There's something here about being adaptable. Okay. Yeah, 55 also talks about new adventures, talks about freedom, talks about self-determination. Something here about your creativity and putting whatever your creative ideas are into action, basically. Um, also for some of you, you guys could be, um, experiencing a lot of like people trying to run you off the road or people trying to cut in front of you when you're on the road or whatever it is. Someone here could be trying to play with some sort of magic to get you to be harmed in some way, but just know you're protected. You're protected. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need to hear at this time? Also, I already announced the winners for the Sagittarius deck, or the deck that I gave away in the Sagittarius reading. And I'm going to announce um, who I'm giving away the free deck in the Aquarius reading, okay, tomorrow, which will probably be the day you see this reading, <laughs> depending if this, this video loads tonight. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, I'm filming this on the 16th. Okay, so this is Friday the 16th. Today is a seven number. So something here about the number seven, you guys could be seeing 777 seven, seven a lot. There's something here about spiritual growth that is very um, prominent. You needed to let someone go in, in order to grow, okay? It was a necessity. You need to know that you're in sync with the universe if you're seeing the number 777, okay? 777 is a shout out reassuring you that you are um, properly aligned with the universe and your internal truths, okay? It says, during this time, your heart is open to higher consciousness, spiritual enlightenment, and manifestation. Man, you are in a very powerful energy, whoever I'm speaking to. It says, now is the time to recover balance and perspective, especially in assessing material possessions, needs, and desires. This signal is um, 
a time where we are better able to evaluate our lives properly yeah there's something here about reflection something here about um a new perspective when it comes to your what you got going on in your life take a take a second and sit there and think about like uh, reassess your life this is giving me seven of pentacles do a little review something like that child or maybe this is what someone you're dealing with is going through maybe they're having like a moment of reflection okay holy spirit holy angels also today um i was i was just seeing a lot of cop cars like suv cop cars I don't know what that's about. Maybe because it's Friday. I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? Or there's something here about 911. <sighs> Let's look up that number before I start. Someone's name could be Terrell. Tyrell. Terrell. I don't know. Let's look up 911. Ooh, someone wants to start drama with you or you're being prepared for drama okay you're being mentally prepared for someone trying to bring drama to you okay yeah 911 is an angel number that is often associated with end endings endings and beginnings okay this encourages the individual to embrace change yeah you just got a lot of change happening child that's ay 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 holy spirit holy angels what's going on but whoever i'm speaking to if you're um really intuitive or you're psychic you kind of already know what's coming up okay you have a pretty good idea of what this change is holy spirit holy angels you guys could have had a dream about something here <clears throat> yeah we got ninth house you guys are definitely ascending here for show there's something here about looking at something your life from a different perspective like we said earlier or someone here is looking at their life from a different perspective or your guys' situation in a different perspective. We got the moon card. So something here could have been hidden from you that is going to be revealed. I'm also getting like there's someone here that's still in their south node that is in their feelings about what you could have said to them. Or the fact that you're not saying something to them or you're not communicating something to them. Okay. Or there's someone here in their south node that is um, in their emotions because you're aware of their games. Or you're aware of them. I don't know. Someone thought they had you fooled or something here. Yeah, someone here thought they had you fooled. Someone here was banking on um, doing something with your second house. Or someone here was trying to use you. Maybe you, you peeped it. All right. Or someone here might want to come to you for resources or to ask if it were a favor. Or someone wants to fight with you about resources, finances, um, real estate, property, materialism situations. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who are these, um, what is, who signs are involved in this reading? <clears throat> Someone here could be an Aquarius, or they could have Aquarius somewhere in their chart. Someone wants to heal something with you. We got Sagittarius. Someone here could be a Sag, or they could have Sag somewhere in their chart. Someone wants to come to an understanding with you, or someone wants to compromise. Okay, we have Aries. Someone here could be an Aries, or they could have Aries somewhere in their chart. Okay. But at the same time, this person actually just wants to fight with you. So someone might come in acting like they want to heal something with you, but truly they just want to start an argument. I don't know. That's what it looked like to me. We got Capricorn. Someone here could be a Cap, or they could have Cappy somewhere in the chart. Someone here could be an Aquarius, Capricorn cusp. We have Virgo. Someone here could be a Virgo, or they could have Virgo somewhere in their chart. There's something here about perfectionism that's holding someone back from taking action. We have Libra. Someone here could be a Libra or they could have Libra somewhere in their chart. Okay. Or someone here is doing a lot of overthinking and it's hindering something. <clears throat> we have Cancer. Somebody here could be a Cancer or they could have Cancer somewhere in their chart. Or there's someone here is definitely in their fucking feelings. Someone could be upset because you're focusing on yourself and they would rather have you focus on them. Yeah, we have Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Someone here could be... Um, someone. Someone's hurt. But I feel like this is... Whoever this person that's crying or who's in pain, it's like they deserve it. It's like that other song I channeled. God damn it. Someone here could have long hair. Long hair don't care. This 
could be you or someone else. This could be a man with long hair. Okay. Yeah, we got the seven of wands here. You could be very defensive of somebody here. Or someone here could be defensive of you. Or someone's in regret because they were defensive of you in the past. We got the five, uh, we got the five of cups out here. Okay. Someone here could have... Somebody here now is realizing that they were confused about something here when it comes to you. I also feel like there's someone here who's sad and they're getting drunk. <sighs> yeah, you're going to hear some communication from somebody. But um, I feel like their communication is coming with man manipulation. Or someone wants to emotionally manipulate you. Like someone here wants to come in with some sort of guilt trip. All right. This person feels stuck in life. We got the hangman out here. You guys could be dealing with a Pisces, a Virgo, a Gemini. Okay. A Leo, Aries, Sag. Yeah, someone sees you as someone who's very alluring, very attractive, very beautiful. But they also know that you, <laughs> you cold to them right now. Okay, because you've seen through the, some sort of manipulation here. Okay, this person needs to come to you correct or don't come at all. This person definitely wants to have some sort of celebration with you or some sort of reunion. Because um, they're going through some sort of tower moment or someone's having a powerful realization about you or about this situation. Somebody here, this person could be going through a spiritual awakening. <clears throat> or somebody's realizing they're a fucking narcissist. I don't know. I don't know. Why do we have the tower? I also feel like it was necessary for you to defend yourself from this person, like spiritually and physically, because this person was throwing a lot of arrows at you energetically or just have, or, or gathering a bunch of people to throw arrows at you, sticks and like someone wanted to stone you, <laughs> have other people join in, in in stoning you or shaming you or trying to make you feel less than. Someone is in regret for doing this or participating in something like this. They had a bunch of people confused or living in an illusion. I don't know. You guys can be saying 222 a lot. Yeah. Uh, someone is having a tower moment because of how they feel about you now. Or there's someone else here who has who who is having a tower moment because someone's in love with you or someone has emotions for you or there's a tower moment about someone's sexual health okay maybe somebody here um i don't know something about someone's sexual health maybe someone found out someone has an std someone here could be 32 years old or something here someone here could be born in august or october this could be you or some you or someone else there's something here about the seven of swords Someone can no longer steal from you. This is, this is, yeah, this is not going down anymore. Like the divine is stepping in and saying, uh-uh-uh, you can't do this no more. Someone here could have been stealing from you emotionally, because we do have the moon card here, over and over and over again, and the divine saying, no more of this. The cycle is ending, or you ended it. This person really put you through some shit. With this nine of wands here. Someone here could have even made you feel fearful. Or someone was trying to make you feel scared of them, or... <sighs> okay. I'm over it. Or someone was hiding some sort of resources, and you're going to find out about it. There could have been a queen of swords out here that was manipulating something here, or someone was manipulating other people through the word of mouth, Okay. Be careful of how you react to something, okay? Because something might, um, something really might make you pissed off, okay? <sighs> so far away. <laughs> Give me a second. Yeah, you're about to learn something here. Something here about the about studying. Someone didn't think you're going to find out about something here or someone here was trying to study you or 
someone wants to study under you i don't know what this is but whatever someone was studying they la they spent their last day in the light someone uh, or what someone was trying to educate someone on it cost someone their livelihood or something it changed something here or the, or the fact that you learned about something or realized something it ended someone's ability to steal from you emotionally energetically whatever this is okay um something here about consistency is key when it comes to protecting your energy or consistency is key when it comes to like what you do to keep yourself balanced okay or someone here can't do anything or can't do something to you because you're disciplined Ciao. I also am getting something here about an older individual attacking a younger individual. The word, the, the word, the number 34 keeps coming out. So that also breaks down to a number seven. This is, this is all about enlightenment. This is all about spiritual growth. I'm seeing, I'm only, <sighs> let me shut up. Hold on. So many freaking numbers. So many freaking numbers. Do 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 do. <laughs> you the you staying disciplined is leading you to your fucking abundance. Okay, you guys could be seeing the angel number thirty three as well. You master something, whoever I'm speaking to, by staying consistent. I also feel like somebody here kept doing something to you over and over again. This could have been someone here throwing like evil arrows at you. You learned how this person moves. And now you're able to defend yourself from this person because someone here is predictable. You're protected, y'all. Someone here could be working with Bassett. All right. And I also feel like the fact that you learned how to um, protect yourself, someone here wants to go around and say that you're a rebel. Or there's an evil person out here trying to call you evil because you, you, see, you see them. Because <laughs> you see them. An evil motherfucker wants to say you're evil because you figured them out. That is insane. This, you guys are definitely dealing with a fucking narcissist child. This is someone here who cannot take responsibility for a goddamn thing. Who is this person spending the last day in the motherfucking light? Holy Spirit. Something unexpected is happening. Someone didn't expect you to end something as well. This could have been, you could have been dealing with someone who was really um, arrogant, very cocky, very egotistical. Someone didn't think... Like I was saying before, someone felt like they had power over you or they had you in the palm of their hands or something. Who's spending the last day in the light? The person who's spending the last day in their light could be a monkey or someone here who has the Chinese zodiac sign of the monkey. Okay, or this is your Chinese zodiac sign. We have coming in to offer resources and stability. So someone here wants to come in and offer you some sort of finances here so you don't end something with them. Someone wants to buy your love. Or pay for your company. <laughs> Something like that. Or somebody, so, or somebody's uh, resources or stability is now going to change. Because you're, you cut them off. This could be a friend, an acquaintance, or a coworker that you may have cut off energetically. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rooster, or you do. Note the date. Someone is also trying to figure out how'd you know it was them. Okay. <laughs> Someone wants a reaction. I don't have knowledge. Ain't happening, Captain. This could be a man or a woman in masculine energy that you could have learned about or there's a man here that's trying to study you or, or was trying to study you or thought they knew the ins and outs of you in order to manipulate you and control you but uh they was confused they confused you with somebody else someone here could now be in conflict there could be a couple out here that was also 
that could have been involved in trying to confuse you or confuse others about you okay they want to know how you found out something here or there's a deranged couple out here that uh could be um in trouble they could be experiencing some sort of conflict something here about bad weather or someone here can't breathe or there could be someone here could be in a codependent relationship this could be a couple that's in your family okay okay this is weird you got someone here from your family that is jealous of your beauty or they are accusing you of stealing their person what the fuck is going on this is like a secret a secret someone was going around saying that you did something with their person or you they did something to your person child i don't know what i don't know what jerry springer shit this is but it's out here let's move past that because that's disturbing there's something here about income something about wealth child yeah you got an important message that's coming in Or there's someone trying to figure out if this person's going to come in and tell you something. They don't want... Someone doesn't want you to know something here. You got an energy vampire that is thirsty for your energy, child. Someone wants to start a new beginning with you. Someone learned the truth about somebody here. Lying to them about you. And they ended it. Because someone here was acting childish. That's another thing that I'm getting. Yeah, that, that was the secret. Someone found out the secret. Or someone found out that someone here was doing magic on someone who was innocent. Or someone's been doing magic on somebody since they was a child. What's the bottom of the deck? We keep getting that. A dog. Someone here could be Virgo. Or Virgo was doing magic on you. Let's find out what the heck is going on. It says you will find out everything you, you'll need to know. So whoever I'm speaking to, you're about to get all the motherfucking answers. All the things that have been hidden, you're about to find out. You're about to get all this knowledge. This could be something that's coming to you like intuitively. This could be knowledge that's coming to you through a dream, meditation. Or this is something that someone's physically going to come in and tell you, like communicate out their mouth some sort of knowledge to you. Or, in, or on a piece of paper or email or something. I could be speaking to a Taurus. You could be a Taurus or you could have Taurus somewhere in your chart or a Taurus is going to tell you something. Or a Gemini. Or someone's going to tell you something about money. Or something about your second house. There was a couple trying to keep that from you. This couple could be your own mama and daddy for some of y'all. Don't have to be though. This could be like your sister and their person or your brother and their person. They could have been trying to hide some sort of material harvest that was meant for you. Uh, you're supposed to get this right now because it's the right time. Something about divine timing. Okay. This secret has to come out. I also feel like someone here could be losing their sanity from playing with too much dark shit dark energies here these dark energies now like could be overbearing to them or they're affecting it's affecting their emotional state holy spirit holy angels can you tell me more what's going on here what do they need to hear regarding this situation yeah whoever i'm speaking to there's someone here that wants to come in and be with you I also feel like this is another thing that someone was trying trying to hide from you. That someone wants to give you a cup of love here. They see you as this empress or they see your value, your worth. Or someone sees you as someone who's very abundant. The number 34 keeps coming out. We have awareness at the bottom of the deck. Someone wants to start a new beginning with you. You could be manifesting this person or this person is trying to manifest you. Someone's area code could be 213 or 314 or 931 or nine one four or something okay 
someone wants to um someone wants to build a foundation with you someone wants to come in and start a family with you this is a, this is someone that you have a spiritual connection with okay someone wants to sit at your table i don't know Whatever you've been trying to manifest, if you guys have been trying to find a manifest love and a stable relationship or or abundance in some form or fashion, it's coming in. Yeah, because you're standing in your motherfucking power. I also feel like there's someone here who's suffering in some sort of relationship and and they want to tell the truth. They want to get out of this and they want to come to you. <sighs> someone feels like their reward would be being in love with you or being in a relationship with you. Someone's in regret for how they did you. Someone here lacked discipline in the past. Someone here could be lonely. I don't know how this is going, child, but someone wants to have success with you. They're hoping that you can see both sides of the situation. We got death here. It says, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Lord have mercy. What is going? I also feel like your reward is to be in a loving relationship. Maybe someone's karma is to stay in a loveless relationship. I don't know. Something here might be too late, but I'm not sure. You guys could have been dealing with someone who was immature in the past. Do, do, do. Da, 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 da. Doo -doo. Someone here could be born in 1992, 1993, 1994, 1991. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? Someone here could be born in 2003, but. Or 2001. What is going on? Yeah, someone wants to reveal the truth to you. Someone wants to come in and tell you the truth. That's what's going on. Yeah. They feel broken. They feel shattered about this situation. Because someone here is having a tower moment. They're realizing they truly have genuine love for you. Someone's upset because they were dishonest. We have dishonesty. By lying, I ripped us apart. Child. Maybe someone lied about how they felt about you. They can't take it no more. Someone can't take it. You might hear from this person on Tuesday. But I also feel like... <laughs> I don't want to say that either. Use your intuition when it comes to this person, okay? Oh my god. Somebody lied about how deep their feelings went. This is annoying. This is annoying. I'm annoyed. Someone here could be 38 years old. We have mistakes. It says, I wish I could right my wrongs. Someone felt like you didn't care or you, or you felt like this person didn't care about you because they didn't tell you how they felt. This person was in their ego. They didn't want to... I don't know, let, let down their pride or something. It says, I let my pride get in the way of our connection. Yeah, someone here wants to have an equal give and take with you. This is something that's coming in, Joe. We have overwhelmed, man. Yeah, someone feels like they're drowning in their emotions. It says, the stress from this is draining me. Someone feel, Someone's being divinely pushed to come in and communicate with you. They have to. You're going to receive some sort of clarity with the situation, regardless if you want to take this person back or not this person definitely wants to come in and say something this person's gonna look dumb i don't know or this person's afraid of looking stupid we got a shadow side oh my god it's like that other song a channel damn it we have you made me realize my flaws you you could have been dealing with someone who um lied a lot why you always lying okay maybe this person is realizing fuck i lie all the time blah 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 blah. maybe i should change that i don't know who knows maybe that's what this person's coming to realize let me see what the fuck is going on what 
Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what the hell's going on with this? I, I don't know why I want to say like something better is coming, but this is your own life. Do what you want. Yeah, um, someone here allowed their dingling or their, or their clam <laughs> to, um, dictate their life. Someone here let lust and temptation get in between this spiritual union. Okay, maybe that's what they're going to come in and tell you. Someone is seeing you as someone who's very secure, someone who's very confident. Someone sees you as this queen bee. Someone definitely puts you on some sort of pedestal. All right, child. <clears throat> this person is having massive regrets. This person knows that they have a sex addiction and they know they need to handle that shit. Someone prematurely ejaculates. Tell me more. Something's wrong with someone's penis. We have secluded. It says separation, reflection. It says soul searching. Yeah, someone here is like going through some sort of situation here. Some sort of reflection. They're fed up with something or how their life is or what actions that they took. Someone's fed up with who they chose over you as well is what I'm getting. <sighs> we have love message. Expect a love message from this person. Do what you want. This is your life, okay? This person was a trickster. They were phony with you. Or this person might come in with some sort of illusions or trickery, okay? I also feel like someone here is being fucking tracked or someone's trying to find you. That's another thing that I'm getting. Someone's trying to find you. Or or this person is being tracked by someone that they are that they left or they're trying to leave. Man, this, comp this is like a complicated situation. I don't know what's going on there's something here about a sibling there's something here about your ex there's something here about your ex's current person or their their recent ex or the person that they chose over you is involved in here or your ex could have multiple women or multiple men flip it where it needs to go child i could be speaking to a man or a woman at this time or whatever it's all energy um something's complicated in here but there's also, I don't know, this is like necessary for someone's spiritual growth. Someone has to, someone's lesson here is to like learn how to communicate their emotions here. Someone regrets not telling their feelings to you. Someone's going through some sort of ego death for sure. Man, I should have just. <sighs> holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? Tell me more. We have wish. Someone wishes that they could have you back. Ciao. Yeah. Someone's someone's upset because they know that you turned your back on them. You don't want to. You're over it. This person regrets telling you that they didn't want anything more than just a sexual relationship. This person knows that they they broke your heart. This person now is feeling under pressure. They feel like they have a lot of anxiety. They feel like time is running out. This person misses you. I don't know if I should share this song or not, but I feel like I should. <laughs> Someone here was with a Jezebel spirit, okay? Or this person has a Jez or is a Jezebel spirit, I don't know. Or they got seduced by a Jezebel spirit that wanted their money or is using them for money. Or there was a Jezebel spirit here that was trying to ruin your reputation. Whoever I'm speaking to, this is your twin flame, unfortunately. Okay, you got a, you got a twin flame out here that misses you. They know they made a bad decision. Um, they're going through some sort of spiritual awakening here. They're thinking about you heavily. They see your worth. They're upset. Um, I don't know. Ciao. Who's your twin flame, Ciao? Your twin flame could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rat, or you do. Never mind, we got a false flame. So there's a rat here. Oh, karmic. 
God damn, there's a lot of fucking... A lot of nasty energy on here. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rabbit that is a karmic. Flip it where it needs to go. This is someone here that was trying to be, trying to act like they're your twin flame, but they're not. This person was a rat. Or there was someone here, there was a false flame using someone to spy on you or something. We got admirers. Someone admires you. We got Cancer. Someone here could be a Cancer. Someone here could be a Taurus. There's something here about a Taurus Cancer couple. I don't know. We got Gemini. Someone here could be a Gemini. Or someone here is in their feelings because someone has love for you. I'm drained. I'm over this reading. I'm over it. I'm over it. I just feel like someone here is going through some sort of tower moment and karma because uh, someone someone here is aware of who you are in their life now spiritually someone is understanding now like why you were in their life or why they met you someone is feeling stupid because they feel like if they would have stayed with you um, they could have been able to sit at this table with you with this material harvest you guys could be whoever I'm speaking to your life could be leveling up you guys could be experiencing a lot of spiritual you guys could be experiencing a lot of spiritual, um, that's wild. Um, something about an earthquake. That's really weird. Okay, let me keep going. Or something here is about to be shooken up. Or someone's, um, someone's whole foundation is going to be ripped from under them. Or that's how someone feels because they're going through some sort of spiritual awakening. Like a lot of illusions are being torn down and they're, they're seeing the reality of their life or their situation. Something about a reality check. Um... creeping me out a little bit listen i live in california so whenever i talk about earthquakes kind of creeps me out <laughs> holy spirit holy angels what's going on the big one is coming uh -huh. the big one the big one definitely is coming tell me more what's going on yeah, someone here is um, a big mad bitch. They can't understand how you are so favored and it's eating at them. Someone doesn't understand how they can't defeat you. Someone doesn't understand like how their magic isn't working. It's like someone feels like they've thrown everything at you and you still persevere. Someone here could be losing sleep over it. We got insomnia. Maybe someone here is trying to make you lose sleep. It says trying to send you nightmares and disrupt your sleep. Okay ain't happening you're being asked to move in silence it says don't speak about your goals or your plans all right because someone here is trying to hinder them i also feel like if this person really does want to come back with you and apologize and ask for forgiveness and blase blase um this person's also moving in silence because they know the person that they're leaving is a little cuckoo holy spirit holy angels tell me more we got conversation starter says they always need to check up on you for new ideas whoever this person is they're getting stopped i'm also getting if this person was who had if this person had the ability to like spiritually spy on you using some form of divination they're being stopped yeah we got three 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 you have guardian angels that are around you they're protecting you yeah you got a lot of you got a lot of archangels that are like really in position because Something here about divine timing, something here about something being destined to occur, something here that's being fated to occur has to occur. Something is prophecy. I, I, I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, I also feel like someone is like feeling the true heartbreak of a situation, child. Tell me more, what's going on? What do they need to hear? Someone's first middle or last name could start with a W. Also, I was getting something about M&M's. I don't know. 
Or there's two people who have the same initial confirmation. Like, like there could be a couple and they're together and their name is like Mary and Mike. Or Martha and Micah. I don't know. Or something like that, child. Tell me more. Yeah, we got false accused. Someone here could have lied on you. Accused you of something. Or someone here got falsely accused of something. We have calling, texting, emailing you using fake accounts, profiles to vamp energy off of you. Okay, so this is something that you guys could be experiencing. Child, I know I am. We got January. Something about the month of January could be of significance. Someone here could be dealing with a... Uh, an Aquarius or a Capricorn we have. I think there are people that help you become the person you end up being and you can be grateful for them, even if they were never meant to be in your life forever. Someone's name could be Diane. But I feel like, like I was saying before, I feel like you got something better coming. Like if this person comes to you, honestly, okay, whoever I'm speaking to, you could either have a false flame coming to you trying to beg you back No, I, th I think that's what this is. You could have a false flame coming to you, trying to beg you back. And it's like, if you take this false flame back, you might um, miss out on your twin flame or something like that. Something like that. We got 808. Be beware of the things that you're feeding your mind at this time or the thoughts that you're like entertaining. Okay, keep your mind positive. It's easier said than done. We got evil eye, yeah. Keep your thoughts positive because there is someone here sending you negative energy. You could feel it. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could feel this negative energy. Or you can feel these negative thoughts or, you know, you you're realizing like these sudden thoughts that you're getting that are really negative. You you're realizing, eh, where is this coming from? If they don't feel like they're yours, they're probably not, child. Someone here doing something weird. Okay? Also, you need to do, like, I something here about protection. Something about protection magic. Okay? Or some of you need to start wearing more, like, amulets of protection. Right? Yeah, someone here keeps gossiping about you. This is how they're sending negative energy. Something about word of mouth. Okay? We have Libra, Virgo, Cusp. You guys could be dealing with a Libra, Virgo, Cusp that could have falsely accused you of something. Or this is something that happened to a, Lig a Libra, Virgo, Cusp. I almost said League Well. Okay, so someone, someone here, someone here tried to get you into League Well trouble. Okay? We got three days. Something might be happening in the next three days. All right, we got Praying Mantis. Someone here could be really religious, giving you the evil eye. Ciao. We got a bad business deal. Someone took a bad business deal. Someone here could have gotten paid um, to falsely accuse you of something in the in the um, in court of law. Yeah, we have. I want you to feel bad slash sorry for me. Fake injury, fake sob story. So someone here is gonna come in and try to make you feel guilty. Like I said before, someone's gonna play some sort of like guilty. Someone's gonna play the guilty card, child. Tell me more, spirit. Yeah, someone here is about to get publicly humiliated in the next three days. <laughs> someone is gonna regret some some something that they did. What's this? Yeah, someone's gonna look dumb. It says, "I'm praying on your downfall." So this says, "Fake friend, partner, family member, etc." You're gonna find out someone here was praying on your fucking downfall. Someone here could need. Someone here needs money to eat or something. We have raid. Someone here might be homeless. We have raid here. Someone here's a fucking cockroach. Yeah, something here is going to be truly exposed for everyone to see. <sighs> Something's going to hit a climax, dude. I don't know. Something is like... <sighs> this place about to blow Oh, 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 that's all I keep feeling. 
We have you pass the test. Whoever I'm speaking to, you pass some sort of test here. When it comes to this person giving you the evil eye. Whoever I'm speaking to, you a fucking light worker. And you're divinely protected. Okay? <laughs> Someone here was trying to steal your light. It ain't working. Someone here could have the um, first, middle, or last name of an H. That's going to get humiliated. Or there's someone here who does H. And they're going to get humiliated in the next three days. We got mother. Or someone's mother is going to get humiliated in the next three days. Or your mother. Flip it where it needs to go, baby. Tell me more. We have drama creator. Yeah, someone here was um, creating a lot of drama. Child. Maybe you didn't react to some sort of drama here. You passed some sort of test. Maybe that's what this test is. Is something about emotional discipline we have shady person you have a shady person that was around you for sure okay you peep them out someone here could have the first middle or last name of a q we have divine feminine's friend is secretly in love with her so you could have a friend that's secretly in love with you that was correct was who was trying to create drama for you okay and your person someone here could have um money issues this keeps coming up someone here has money issues they want you to feel bad for them because they have money issues or someone wants to like say like oh i'm so sorry I, the only reason why i went against you or did x y and z against you or stole from you is because i need money and i can't eat and blah, 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 blah. we have cases closed okay you no longer want to work with somebody you no longer want to talk to somebody you no longer want somebody in, in your fucking energy you 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 know someone's a fucking liar and you're just like you're done with it okay someone here could be playing with a lot of motherfucking magic here all right someone here could be playing with candle magic at this time or maybe you need to light a motherfucking candle baby because somebody here playing in your energy okay we have earth sign whoever i'm speaking to you could be an earth sign or there's something here that's going to be happening to an earth sign in the next three days we have big dick energy okay someone here has a, some fucking the gall someone has like someone was ballsy with something okay we have one year damn it Linda. something happened for a whole year Someone here was playing in your face for a whole year. You had a shady person around you that was doing something to you for a whole fucking year. A whole year. One year. Your ancestors are protecting you. Okay? Listen, this is this is for someone. A father here could have cro uh, created... Chow. A, a, a father here could have committed fraud. Okay? When it comes to you. A baby father somebody we got sex demon somebody got an attachment on them okay this could be an earth sign that has a sex demon on them or or someone here is trying to send a sex demon on a earth sign jesus we got have um hospital someone here could be end up going to the hospital they want you to feel bad for them we have private investigator someone here th okay so there could be a private investigator that made a bad business deal with somebody a year ago in order to try to find um some sort of dirt on you to try to see if you're doing something illegal maybe someone here was trying to say that you're you you were um making money illegally when it comes to the jerugs and someone here was trying to plan a raid okay but whoever i'm speaking to you're a light worker you don't do none of that shit um and now a case is closed they don't have evidence on you or whatever this is okay um, but maybe somebody else has video evidence or someone made up false video evidence on you. Maybe someone was trying to, I don't know, pin you for something. Tell me more spirit. We got grandma. Someone here could be a grandma or someone here, something about your grandma. You're going to get information about your grandma in the next three days or someone's grandma is going to get humiliated. Something about a week from now. Okay. Or your grandma, if your grandma's passed over and you know, they're, a you know, an ancestor of the highest white light, this grandma here might is assisting in exposing someone here for the shit that they've done the negative shit that they've done to you we have boss slash manager you could be a boss slash manager or there's a boss or a manager that's also involved in creating drama for you or giving you the evil eye <laughs> what's that song hold on some of you could be frustrated with your boss or your manager <laughs> 
Hold on, hold on. I just came across this song not that long ago. What's this man's name? <laughs> this guy's name is Mark. Someone's name could be Mark. Mark Riblet? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> this song is called Late to Work. Some of you could have been late to work recently and you... <laughs> So whoever I'm speaking to, you're fed up with the job you go to. You're like, fuck it, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I can't. You guys need to listen to this song. It's called, it's from Mark Reblet, and it's called Late to Work. I know this phone's old. This is an old phone, okay? This is like only for internet use possible, or possible. Only for internet use. Um, let me see. It says, you're late to work, who gives a fuck? It's your life, bitch. Fuck your boss, I'm late. <laughs> you just need to, you need to, um... You guys could be dealing with a boss or a manager that doesn't appreciate you, basically, but they harp on your ass, but you're the only one that actually, like, shows up to work or does the job correctly. I don't know. Something like that. You're over it. Someone wants to get a new job. We have Post Malone that says, I fall apart. Okay, we have Karmic Mother here. And you got a Karmic Mother here who's going to get publicly humiliated, child. Okay. Someone here was working with a crooked-ass judge. If someone here was trying to... Someone has connections to people here. Or someone paid people off. They're all getting fucked over. They're all going to get their motherfucking karma, child. And somehow, your twin, your twin flame's involved in here, or your karmic false flame, and your sister, and your brother, and your, your mama, and your daddy, and people, everybody up in here. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. That's what it feel like to me. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. Or they were celebrating your downfall <laughs> until the earth shook beneath them. And God said, hell no, we got wolves in sheep's clothing. You're about to find out all these wolves in sheep's clothing here who stole from you. These motherfuckers are getting exposed. This could have been a Libra or Virgo, child, because that just came up together. Someone was an opportunist, baby. Someone thought they had something down pat perfect. Hell no. Wolf in sheep's clothing. Who's this wolf in sheep's clothing? This wolf in sheep's clothing is nearby you, child. Sniffing you out and everything. Who's this wolf in sheep's clothing? This wolf in sheep's clothing could be an Aquarius okay or you're an aquarius and you got a wolf in sheep's clothing near you this person could have the chinese zodiac sign of a rooster note the date that is a wolf in sheep's clothing or there's someone here that wants to heal something with you this could be a feminine energy that's a wolf in sheep's clothing that's nearby you okay chow try to steal something from you you got aries there could have been an aries here that's a wolf in sheep's clothing or these are your signs flip it where it needs to go baby why do we have thief who's this motherfucking thief rooster Man, rooster's in the hot seat. Rooster could be a thief. Or the rooster lost something because they were trying to steal from you. There's a rooster out here that wants to have a new connection with you. Or you have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rooster and you have a new person coming into your life. They're in cahoots with other people that you know. Okay, and they're trying to steal from you. Okay, someone here wants to come in. Or someone wants to steal. Someone wants to come in and... Make an offer to you before this person can. We keep getting this storyline. Because someone knows that someone else admires you. <sighs> I'm over it. Someone here could be a Scorpio. Tell me more. What else do they need to know? It's already an hour. Gosh dang it. Yeah, someone here found out that someone got an STD. Someone has an STD. Somebody got something. Someone has some sort of sexual infection, spiritual disease, or some sort of rash that they can't get rid of because they have a spiritual, or they're not a spiritual child. They got a, god dang it, they got a, they got a sex demon on them. They have sexual addictions here. Something could be going on with someone's private parts. And this is karma for stealing from you. Emotionally, energetically, whatever. This person wants to come in with an offer. I'd be careful. This person's a groupie. This wolf in sheep's clothing, they're a groupie. They come in acting like, oh, I'm your biggest fan. You're so awesome. I love you. But they, they, no. Tell me more, spirit. This could be one of your friends, girl. Or boy. Flip our knees go. We have divination abuser. Someone here is like literally, oh, 
Child. Listen. Somebody's so jealous that you're happy and you're ignoring them. Someone is upset because you're in your power and or you're in the spotlight. Whoever I'm speaking to, somebody just hates what you got going on for yourself. They they hate you because they ain't you, basically. And someone keeps trying to pry into your life. Somebody about to get fucked up. I'll tell you what. Tell me more. Yeah. We got boss daddy. You got a... Mm. So there's a cocky ass motherfucker out here who got an STD. And they hate that you happy. This person wants to do something. They want to get, they want to do something when it comes to clout. Someone's trying to say anything or do anything or do, someone's doing something dramatic. Someone's having a temper tantrum. Someone's out here going to have an adult temper tantrum, temper tantrum because they are broke. They're broke. They don't have your energy anymore. They're broke. Basically. What else do they need to hear? I think this is just, this reading is just telling you what's hidden right now. This reading is just telling you that you're moving up to higher levels, okay? And you got um, all these other people that are going down. They're going down with the ship. Okay? So for all y'all who are wondering when are, when are these motherfuckers getting their karma, it's, it's happening right now. Anymore. we have don't believe every shitty thought you have yeah there's something here about someone playing with your top baby someone here if you start having negative thoughts shoo shoo them away okay since thoughts can be sneaky little lying ass bastards all right you're in control of your own mind tell me more we have you need some fucking yoga in your life <laughs> says ancient shit is cool so some of you need to get your blood flowing. Okay, maybe you guys need to move your body to get some sort of negative energy that out of your body that someone's trying to send you. Tell me more, spirit. Yeah, you do got someone being shady for sure. Or there's someone here trying to say that you're acting shady, but it's because you peep them. You know what they're about now? We have, what the hell are you waiting for? What the hell are you waiting for? We have, get that shit done. Whoever I'm speaking to, get your ideas off the goddamn ground and do them says if you were waiting for a sign well here it fucking is this is your sign to take action on the things that you want to get done okay i also feel like shit might get ugly here when you find out some sort of truth or you find out what this person was saying uh, about you i don't know i don't even think it i don't think it fucking matters it don't it don't Yeah, it just keeps saying you need to wear um, evil eye jewelry or a protective am amulet, okay? Because someone here is throwing evil arrows at you. Because they know they're drowning. They know the ship is, sh is sinking, okay? Someone's desperate as fuck. It says seek to cleanse the energy at your, your place of work discreetly, whoever I'm speaking to. By the way, if you guys are wondering what these cards are, okay, it's called Self Divination Oracle Deck by the Pretty Oracle. She's also another um, tarot card reader on YouTube. She's hilarious. You should check her out. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? What else? We have Unlocker. It says lock to break a blockage or unlock any path. So yeah, someone here was trying to block your path. I don't feel like this is like, I don't feel like they're going to. Like, I don't think this is, you got too many archangels out here on your side, child. And then we have Archangel Raphael. It says, cure sickness, healing, mental health. Someone here's trying to make you sad or depressed or something here. It's like someone sees you as someone who's on top of your shit. Someone who's achieving some sort of success here. Okay. Loving yourself. And someone wants you to feel like, sad or someone wants to bring chaos so that you can be like in lower vibrational energy because they're not where you're at i don't know something like that is going on child what else do they need to hear before i bounce what else do they need to hear before i bounce 
We have be clear about where you're putting your focus right now. It says focus on your desired outcome. You have everything within to create the life of your dreams. Stop doubting yourself for once. This is your time. We've got you. Oh, okay. We have learned to ride the waves of life. When faced with difficult times, you can either fight against the current or go with it. So ask yourself, what is to be gained by depleting your energy and fighting against it? it says don't do that to yourself. You're being asked to go with the flow. Just go with the flow. Trust the process. Okay. We have self-awareness is key. Or, or just go with the changes. Something about change. Something about transformation, child. Just go with it. It says self-awareness is key. It says take time today to go within and spend time with your soul. Go for a walk in nature and ground yourself. Meditate. Listen to your favorite music. Whatever you enjoy most, do that today. You deserve it. You owe it to yourself. Whoever I'm speaking to. Let's get out with one of these cards before I go because I, I haven't used these before. Oh, no. I... What the hell are you waiting for? Holy, gosh dang it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what the heck is going on? What else do they need to hear before we balance some motivational words? We have jump high and hard <laughs> with intention and heart. It's up to you to make your own life, okay? It's up to you. What you gonna do about it, chow? Do you like what you're at or what you're doing right now? If you're unhappy, you have the power to change it. You do. It says this above all to refuse to be a victim. Yeah, you're not a motherfucking victim. You're not a victim to your circumstances. You're not a victim to what's going on right now. We all, we all, listen. The key to, gr to growth is taking radical acceptance of the part that you played in, in, in when it comes to your life and what position you're in right now. It takes real, takes a lot of strength to, to look at yourself like that and to really see the truth of the matter of things because it's necessary for you to grow even though it may be painful it, it, it ultimately boils down to accountability whoever i'm speaking to okay you're not a fucking victim i'm not saying you weren't victimized okay but what i'm saying is um You know what I'm saying. We have the most effective way to do it is to do it. So some of y'all need to get off your ass and do something. Take action. Create your reality. You have the power to. Okay. It says go for it now. The future is promised to no one. Listen, whoever I'm speaking to, you can be holding yourself back when it comes to doing something because of perfectionism. Maybe you feel like you can't take action on something because you feel like it's not ready or it's not the right time or you feel like you're not at a certain level or you don't have enough whatever it is whoever i'm speaking to you are enough if the idea was divinely guided to you and you have been inspired to take action that's god already giving you the green light that you're already good enough to do it i the osmeal you the me. <laughs> Okay, we have everything we do and everyone that we meet is put in our path for a purpose. Oh my gosh. This is going to be the end of your reading, okay? Until next time, I love you. Okay, bye. <laughs>